then there were two. Only two teams remaining for the regional final. It's simply this, Arkansas wins tonight onto the Super Regional, but if TCU wins, we're coming back for a game seven tomorrow. And it will face the left-handed freshman, Patrick Wicklander out of San Jose, California. Originally a commit to Dallas Baptist, now with the Razorbacks of Arkansas. Learn, the head coach watches, 2-2 pitch. One out. Well, Wicklander breaks out that. Now the 3-2. Brings us to the number three hit time. 2-2 two -two to second base to get the force for one. And there are two outs. Well, Gunther continues to see the ball very well. This ball. A little number to first base. Bobbled. Taken unassisted, though, by Ezel. Inning over. A one-out walk for TCU is wasted, to be precise. Still in the two-spot, and that will break out with a base hit. All you have to do is mention it. And Martin, what an applause for him. It's a standing ovation. Well, these fans are smart. They know he's been struggling, but the reason he gets this hit is he stays in the middle of the field. It was created in 1999. Right field base hit. Runners at first and second with one out, and a threat going uh, for the Arkansas Razorbacks. For... Runners stay again, the one, two, headed to the gap. Off the wall, it's gonna score one. It's gonna score two, Dominic Fletcher has the Hogs on the board. What a great at bat by Dominic Fletcher. Headed to center field and slicing and dropping. Kenley comes through again in a second. He is safe. Well, this is just a great at bat by Jack Kenley, who did get a fastball. It's away. But... Reiser has 74 hits for the year, but he is punched out there. You can see a catcher make. Toward Casey Martin, and it gets past him. And Humphrey's aboard. Here in the second. This ball really. Second strikeout of the inning for Patrick Wicklander. Again, the 3 2. Patrick Wicklander strikes out the side. Austin Henry with the leap. Couldn't get it. In the right field for a hit. In the fourth inning. Or excuse me, back in the second, and now base hit here in the fourth, just the second hit of the game for the Horned Frogs. Well, Johnny Reiser doing a good job keeping that. Base hit down the left field line. Reiser around second. Reiser in the third. They're going to hold him up. It's a two-out double for Zach Humphreys, and now the Frogs have it going. Popped up on the infield, should end the rally. Scoring runs in a hurry. Back to back breakers and a strikeout. 2 2 pitch. Contact yet. This time he did, though. Base hit left field, one out in the fifth, hit number eight. Can't keep a good hitter down. No, sir. Uh, gets a fastball in, and he keeps his hands inside and shoots this to left. Deep to right field. Gone. Five nothing Arkansas. Matt Goodhart. Well, Jared Jancic tried to go back to that breaking ball, and it ends up, instead of down in the dirt, down and in, which is where many left-handed hitters like it. Matt Goodhart did not miss this pitch at all. He kept his hands back, kept his body back, but the barrel catches this ball out front. He gets down through the ball, nose on the ball. It's a two-out, two-run home run to add to this Arkansas lead and put it... Cody Scroggins, Bentonville, Arkansas, just about 15 minutes away from this ballpark. Cody Scroggins has a fastball that's 90 to 94. He's got a slider in the theory. 
As this ball gets through the middle. And Hunter Wolf continues the hot hitting. So far tonight, a couple of ground outs. Now out on strikes, and so Arkansas pitching has solved him. Slow roller could be trouble. Nice play by Jacob Nesbitt. In the meantime, Hunter Wolf headed to short. Martin. This inning is over. Shutout remains intact. Headed toward third, diving stop. Nesbitt the throw, got him. Nesbitt again making the plays. This one has been atop of the standings for virtually half the year. That one scorched down the right field line. Good low round first, heading into second. Nice pinch hit double. For Bobby Goodlow with one out in the seventh. Took it with two strikes. Against Jacksonville down. State. Pounded to deep center field. Caught on the wall, Dominic Fletcher. Runner will tag up. That went to the deepest part of the ballpark at nearly 400 feet. At their place. Top of the seventh order. Time for everybody to get up and stretch. Any consequence dropping into left field base hit the super regional site on Friday runner going and into second base without a play spark to left center field or rather straightaway center field no problem no for riser he gave it a ride but riser hauls it in it would be none <laughs> <laughs> One out. The Razorbacks and Jacob Kostyshak continues that line as he has a fastball 93 to 96 with some sink. Jacob Nesbitt inning over. Spanks it to center field. Now his third hit of the game. Goodhart goes up looking and hunting first pitch fastball. He gets it and does it in the middle of the field. Solid short swing. Rewarded with a base hit. Now Dominic Fletcher with a couple of hits of the game. Super regional. Will be seen as all games are on ESPN. And I know this one is not over. But if Ole Miss and LSU or Arkansas collide again, what are your thoughts on a rematch? It's going to be a heck of a series. And when you get in these series, it comes down to pitching and defense, and the team that can execute on the small things is going to end up winning. Ole Miss has won three of the five meetings, but nearly every game was close. Hit running for Arkansas. SEC flexing its muscles all weekend long. Towards second, chance for a double play. Not in time. Fletcher legs it out. What out? Runner goes. Runner into second base. What better to be at the ballpark on a sunny day? Oh, yeah. Headed to center field. Washington around third. He's going to score. Six nothing Arkansas. Jack Kenley. Continues with a hot bat. Well, Jack Kenley stays through the middle of the field. times in this regional. And he's still able to get him on strikes. Jog off the field and continue to play. Agreed. Beautiful pitch. A two and two. And the Hogs are now away. Next up, the Super Regional. Arkansas comes into this regional, the number five national seed, and they performed every bit the part as we saw a little bit of everything from this team. They never trail throughout the entire regional, and they can attribute it to some great pitching, timely hitting, and we saw all of that tonight. An outstanding performance from Patrick Wicklander. Scroggins and Kostyshak come in to close it down. In the bullpen, the Razorbacks find themselves in a super regional.